This is the Antminer S21, and that's the sound of it mining me digital gold. All right, and now that we can hear, let's start on the S21 setup guide. If you're here, that means you're ready to take your mining to the next level. In my mining room, I have some powerful professional miners, like the L7 or the BMS3. They're humming away nonstop. And if you think that's cool, my grandfather said his buddy has some residential miners like these. So whether you're professional or just starting off, there's a miner for everyone. So here's an outline for the video. We're gonna start by unboxing the device and powering it on. We'll then use Bitmain's IP finder to locate the device on our network. We'll log into the device and connect it to our mining pool because an idle miner isn't gonna make us money. Once we have it powered on and everything is good, we'll talk about some air cooling tips because this thing runs hot. And finally, we'll review the S21's profitability. We'll crunch the numbers and get the ROI. First up, let's talk about what you're getting with the S21. Straight out of the box, this miner is hefty. It's one of Bitmain's top tier models, boasting 335 terahash per second, and you can see why when you unpack it. Here are the essentials. The miner itself, a power cord, and a quick start guide. Let's get this beauty set up. Setting up the S21 isn't as complicated as it looks. First, you'll want to position your miner in a well-ventilated area. We have a dedicated mining room with an AC and proper airflow. This thing runs hot, so cooling is key. Plug in the power cord and connect your ethernet cable to your router. Once it's powered up, you'll see the LED lighting up. Now, it's ready to be configured. Now let's jump into the configuration. Bitmain's IP finder makes it easy to locate your miners on your network. Just download the software from their official site and install it. Go to Bitmain's main site, customer support, firmware list, other, IP reporter, download, open the program, and then scan for your device. You'll see your S21 pop up. Click on it and it will take you to the miner's dashboard. Or simply type the IP address in your search. The username and password are root, and this is where you're able to monitor your hash rate, network status, and even your temperature. From here, you'll be able to enter your pool's credentials. Simple, right? Let's move on to connecting to F2 pool. F2 pool is one of the more popular mining pools and connecting your S21 is straightforward. In the miner dashboard, go to the pool setting tab and input your F2 pool worker credentials. You'll need your username and pool server address, which you can find on F2 pool's website. On the mining tutorial page, you're able to see how to set up the software and create an account. First, we have to create a wallet address for our Bitcoin to get sent to. I'm going to be using my crypto.com account, but you could use whatever wallet you want. Step two is to create an F2 pool account. And then step three is configuration. This is where you enter the URL, your username, dot worker name, and password. One thing to note here is that your account name is provided in your account settings. And here, we can find our account name. Let's drop down the more tab and we can see where we can add our Bitcoin address along with merge mining rewards. Now we have our mining addresses, our worker name, our account name, and our optional password. Hit apply and the miner will start working. You'll see your hash rate update in real time. Now that we're up and running, let's talk about something just as important as hash rate, cooling. The Antminer S21 puts off a ton of heat, and sufficient cooling is important for longevity and performance. Here's how I set up my HVAC system to vent out heat efficiently. I connected exhaust ducts to the miner's output vent and routed it right outside. This not only protects your equipment, but also keeps your space comfortable. So here's my current setup in the mining room. The S21 is running alongside my other ASIC miners, all connected to a dedicated circuit to handle the power load. I've went through a few prototypes already, things like this that you can 3D print, 
an add to the exhaust ventilation, then this runs a six inch duct vent right off of it. Here's what the uh, vent looks like. So it attaches right here. For smaller professional models, these uh, 3D printed vents fit on perfectly. But for the S21, uh, the exhaust vents are actually bigger. And so what I had to do was look for professional uh, HVAC vents. And on these professional grade vents, basically what I had to do was kind of cut out the bottom of the top vent and some of the top of the bottom bit to let them fit flush on the machine. Then you can see on this model, we have the exhaust vents, but then the power supply as well. Then I went with a three inch by eight inch vent to cover the power supply unit. Back in the minor room, you can see the power supply exhaust and the two main exhausts coming out of the S21. Now you've seen how to tame the heat, but let's talk about what really matters, the numbers. Let's break down the profitability of the S21 using real world numbers. Here I'm on ASIC minor values site. This is where you can find some application specific integrated circuits and their performance over the last few days, month and year. So we can see here is the S21 Pro, the 234 terahash model, right around four grand right now in stock. Um, but that price usually ranges based on if it's uh, like the condition, if it's used or if it's new. We can see we're making around $7.75 after electricity. You can change the cost for your electricity up here. We can even see uh, some of the different time ranges. So there's about uh, two times in the last six months where this unit wasn't actually profitable, but we have been running it nonstop since we got it. And down here you can see uh, daily returns, the income, the electricity, and the profit, monthly, yearly. You can see the algorithm that it's mining, the SHA-256, which is Bitcoin specific. But I highly recommend checking out ASIC Miner Value. This is a really good website, and like we can go back to the homepage real quick, and you can see all the different uh, ASIC models out and what company makes them. So you don't have to go specifically with Bitmain if you don't want. I've ordered from IB Link, from Goldshell, and Bitmain. All are great companies, had great experiences with all of them so far. And you can see the different mineable coins, right? Uh, so like the L7 that we have right now is one of the better earners that I have. And you can see ranging right around like $24 to $25 a day. Um, so it's always good to kind of check ASIC miner value, look at some of the historical charts and everything like that to see if the miner that you're looking to buy is going to be a good fit for you, right? Now let's go over to F2 pool. All right, so here we go. And we're on our Bitcoin page already. Perfect. So you can see the last few days of history here. We can look over at our workers can see our big daddy and going over to our revenue we can see that we're making right around 0 0.000145 bitcoin per day um, with our payouts being basically once a month uh, historically and that's going to do it for the deep dive into the antminer s21 we powered it on, tamed the heat, and crunched the numbers to see if it was a worthwhile investment. So whether you're mining for digital gold or you're just exploring the world of Web3, make sure you drop a like and follow CypherFi for more blockchain breakdowns. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to CypherFi for more Web3 coding and crypto content. We've got a ton of exciting videos coming up from setting up your Bitmain ant rack to Python coding for blockchain development. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want to see more in-depth reviews. Until next time, happy mining.